Hello, I'm Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in San Diego, California. Today we're here in our indoor range, one of our indoor ranges, and you'll see that it's a little different than most shooting ranges. We operate in combat rooms or tactical rooms that allow us to shoot in multiple directions, uh, allow us to do a lot more dynamic things. Now the room is, you know, this one is, is, is basically the size of a living room, and this is where most self-defense activity happens. So we feel, I feel, that practice for self-defense needs to be done in this type of environment because shooting down a lane is almost, in my mind, a bad thing because you're training in a bad way. You're just shooting at one static target down one lane and they tell you you can't shoot too fast because they tell you, hey, go long, lane six, slow down a little bit because if you shoot too fast that other people kind of get nervous. But in here, in our combat tactical indoor range, we get to shoot as fast as we want with uh, as many targets as we want in as many directions as we like. And we get to train in true self-defense. Today I want to introduce to you a, uh, a unique product. Uh, you know I'm a big believer in dry fire. Dry fire is the master skill for success in shooting. You can shoot all you want out in the range, but if you don't handle and manipulate the handgun, you're not going to be a great shooter. So that handling and manipulation of the handgun can be done in a dry fire environment. And you know probably that we make a reset trigger for Glocks. The reset trigger is one of our most popular training devices because it allows you to train and work your physical body, your trigger finger, as well as to work your mind to see the sight picture and try to go as fast as you can, not have to worry about rounds and all that stuff because this just shoots out a laser bullet. So let's go ahead and, and, and look at it real quick. It's a, uh, our reset trigger consists of the actual trigger that will reset every time I pull the trigger. So watch this. And that allows me to do multiple shots and multiple targets. And it gives me a lot of trigger time. If, um, in the old days when I first started dry firing, I, I had to rack the slide every time. And if you have a Glock or some other gun, you probably know that, you know, to dry fire, you get one shot out of it, rack the slide and do it again, or cock the hammer on a 1911 and do it again. But it's not really that realistic because it's not, you're not able to go from shot to shot. So after doing that for several thousand rounds and you know several you know years really of uh, dry firing I developed this reset trigger that allows us to uh, uh, get multiple shots and lots of trigger time it's uh, combined with the uh, laser bullet and the laser bullet is what actually spits out the laser here and you'll see in my hand all right so there's the concept and oftentimes I'll dry fire just at the uh, doorknob or just at a point in the uh, room that I'm looking to shoot so I get to the point where I can actually see a spot on the, on the wall and actually come up and hit the spot with just the presentation of the gun because I practice so much. And so that's how you know, really strong I believe in, in dry fire practice, especially with a laser, because you can verify that you're actually putting it all together. It's one thing to dry fire and think that you're hitting the target. It's another thing to actually see the target and see the laser hit that particular point. So now targets. So that's the next step of this. So oftentimes I would take a blank sheet of paper and I would actually paste them around the room. And um, when I would, you know, dry fire, I'd hit the target and go to the next one and hit the target and go to the next one and go to the next one. And, and that would be my target. And it's not a bad way to go. Certainly you can see that the, uh, the paper itself is, you know, kind of a realistic self-defense target in size. Uh, it's easily to identify the target and uh, uh, the laser hit the target. So all that said, that's, you know, not a bad way to go, but the next level of that is to have an interactive target, a target that actually says something when you hit it. And that's what I want to introduce to you today. It's one of these uh, new uh, laser ammo uh, reactive targets. And they're really neat because one, it's very low profile. Uh, basically the target is that guy right here. And there's three batteries underneath it. Okay. And these are the actual target inserts. And if you look at the table, you can see there's four different styles of target inserts. You've got your uh, silhouette target, your round bullseye. This is an IPSC, uh, I believe it's a one quarter scale IPSC target. And this is a small little three inch target to make it a little bit more challenging. So all that said, the, uh, the electronics all reside right here. What's happening is uh, they've got a little diode in here that's actually seeing the laser hit the target. So every time that you hit the target, it actually will beep which is positive reinforcement that you hit it. Now, what's really fascinating, after you get good at this, 
you can start to hit this three inch target from anywhere in the room environment in an instant. And once you get to this point, then you know you've got something. You know you've really developed your skills and, and it really comes with just practice. It's not hard. Shooting is not like golf. It's actually a very easy skill. But the uh, concept of shooting these little targets and hearing that beep uh, is um, uh, very rewarding and it also really helps your practice and helps you speed up and helps you get to the point where you know that, that any time that there is a target within your view that you can put your eyes on, you can bring the gun up and actually hit that target instantly. Now, what's really fascinating about these targets is they, they build into this a, uh, a lot of different technology that allows us to do different styles. So the, uh, the first one, of course, is the on-off button right there. Now, what this will do is just, it'll just beep. So you can set these targets up around the house and just beep as you go around. There are four or five different modes here. Uh, the second mode will actually uh, allow us to have the target light up and then when I hit it, it'll go, the light will go off. So bang, and then it'll come back up and reset itself. I think I've got to go through the whole five. And you'll see these targets are a little close together, so they're actually responding together. So they're, they are tied together. So now they respond again. So now you have a visual, you have a light, and you have the sound. The uh, next mode is actually pretty neat too. And again, they recommend that these targets are at least 12 inches apart. And so I'm cheating here on this table uh, so we can all see uh, what's going to happen here. So here's, and now, and now you see what's happening. It's, it's, it's telling me which target it wants me to hit. So it's kind of a random thing and it gives me now a, a mind game. So I've got to now identify the target, get to it, hit it. Identify the target, get to it, hit it. Identify the target, get to it, and hit it. So it really kind of, uh, you know, not only test your physical skill, test your mental skill as to how are you seeing those targets and are you identifying the targets. Now this next mode is actually very interesting as well. And now you'll see there's a, 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 a red target is introduced in this. So, so you can see that they come up and bang, I'll hit that one, bang, hit that one, hit that one, hit that one. Oh. Didn't, wasn't supposed to hit the red one. See what that's all about? So now it's another mind game. Now there's a no-shoot target. So it's uh, really fascinating. Now there's one more mode and it actually is going to just speed this entire thing up. And it's just a little bit faster. So you'll see now it's... And again there's a the no-shoot. So. These are the new laser ammo uh, targets that we uh, have in our, in our catalog, and I really like them because, uh, well, one, they're just AAA batteries. Uh, two, they're super small, lightweight. You can put almost any insert in here. It doesn't matter what it is. I mean, the camera or, you know, the sensor here is reading the laser on this target. So it could be, you know, even small pictures or something else like that, whatever you want to do. Um, it's so simple you know but yet so effective now here i'm going to go ahead and give you a, an idea of some of my training with these guys so let me go ahead and get these guys off here i'll turn these other ones off and we will go over here and i'll show you what we're going to do and how i'm going to utilize this target here so i'm going to reset these guys so down here i've got uh, a couple of my targets set up for one of our uh, gun fit uh courses so we've got our targets 15 feet apart and you can see our gun fit targets are right here. Now this is a game we play here in uh, San Diego and I invite you to come down and, and shoot with us sometime. Uh, the idea being is that we're going to actually uh, transition from our laser and then we're going to go to live fire and show you how you know, the laser practice, dry fire practice, really makes a great impression or a great improvement on your live fire practice. So all the skills you learn with laser will be able to apply to the range as well. So basically, I've got these things set up at uh, uh, 15 feet apart, and my, uh, my shooting point is right here at about 10 feet. And so what I'm going to do is just uh, uh, play with this a little bit and come up and just hit the targets. I guess I didn't turn that one on. So let's go down here and see if I can get this guy turned on. There he is. So the, um, the practice session that we're going to do here is basically this. So we're coming up, we're shoot, and boom. And now we'll go right to left. And then we'll go double tap. And the same thing. And now three. 
And now three again. Okay, you can see that, not really that hard, we're indexing the target, we're bringing the gun up to our field of view, I've got my eye focused on the target, I'm coming up and just boom, put the gun right in front of my line of sight and squeeze the trigger. So the laser practice, like I said, is um, a great way to improve your skills but also to develop your speeds. So let's do another situation here. So here we're going to go ahead, and this is one I, I like to play with a little bit because it really kind of gets you working. So here we'll come up and it's going to be... <clears throat> okay, so that is an exercise, you know, and the idea is that we're doing five shots on each target as fast as we can and going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, one of the things that I, that's interesting about there, you know, is, is I did hit the target every time. It didn't beep once, but I did see it on the, on the white. Uh, the laser didn't pick it up or the uh, sensor didn't pick it up. But you want to make sure you get up and you actually stop on each target and get across and stop again and get across and stop again. If you just continue the motion and swing and swing and swing, you're going to find you're going to have misses. So you really want to get up, come up, stop, 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 stop. And that'll work you out a little bit. Again, we're, we're, we're keeping uh, our body stiff and, and keeping our head still and just bringing the gun up and up and up. So let's do it one more time. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, now, so. That's the, the uh, dry fire practice I like to do, and that's what we do here at our indoor range and our training facility, is we, uh, we, we get people geared up with dry fire, with laser practice, and then we come and we actually shoot in the range here. So now let's go ahead, I'm going to bring one of my guys in to run this for us, and we'll, um, we'll go through this same exact exercise using our gun fit targets and using live ammo. Okay, we're geared up now to shoot our live fire. I've got our gun fit targets affixed to our targets downrange. And, um, Remember, they're 15 feet apart, and we're gonna shoot from a distance of 10 feet. Not really far, that's not the concept. Remember, this is self-defense shooting. Most self-defense shooting happens at these kind of distances. And for combat accuracy, we're looking to just place the shots into the triangle or to, into the diamond. That's the accuracy we're looking for. We don't need to be too exact, we just wanna be inside of here, because that's our stopping area, our stopping point. All right, so you can see I've got a target set up. The way we score this is, you'll see, this uh, five points inside here, three points anywhere on the paper, because the paper's still a, a pretty decent hit, and then zero anywhere else. And again, this is all about self-defense. So we want to shoot for speed and combat accuracy. And con this is a pretty big target, especially at this distances. And so that's the key to this whole game, is that we are going to go ahead and shoot as fast as we can, and we're going to shoot uh, with uh, accuracy, but uh, speed is uh, one of our main considerations. So, now the way we're going to do this is we're going to shoot uh, a series of, uh, of shots as we go through this to uh, simulate uh, what could happen in a live fire. Uh, we're going to shoot one shot, one shot, going left to right, right to left, uh, two shots, left to right, right to left, three shots, and then five shots. Now you think about that. In a real world situation, you're probably going to want to go ahead and, and, and tra practice or train with five shots on the, on the target. How many times have you done that? as fast as you can, and then go to the other target and do five more shots. You know, I'm a, uh, I've got a lot of uh, uh, my roots in Ipsic style shooting, and, and I really started way back in this whole business with the, uh, you know, action target shooting uh, uh, games. And, um, you know, the double tap concept to me uh, was pretty exciting at the very beginning, but now I almost think that it's um, kind of a negative because you get so used to shooting double taps that you shoot double taps on everything, you want to go to the next target. But in the real world, it may take more than just a double tap. So that's why we want to train ourselves to do triples and, in, and even five at a time. So uh, that's what this game's all about, to uh, help you get up to speed on self-defense shooting. So Victor, who is our in the retail store manager here in San Diego, is going to run me through the course. He's got a timer. Uh, we uh, uh, use uh, uh, a timer to help us uh, get a, a relative uh, feel of our speed. How fast are we? You know, and uh, the... Uh, Concept here is we're going to uh, 
go ahead and shoot the, all these different strings that we just talked about. He's going to time each and every one of them. At the end of the whole deal, this whole exercise, we're going to time, we're going to total up all of our times, total up our score, and we'll get a uh, uh, a, uh, a relative score based upon the speed and accuracy. All right. So, Vic, you know the drill. Yes, sir. I'm going to go ahead and gear up here with my eyes and ears. Right, everyone got eyes and ears. You guys on. are good. We'll turn the air on real quick so we get that going. First objective right now is to go ahead and uh, shoot uh, one shot on each target, uh, right to left, and then coming back and going left to right. Now, we like to start right here in one spot in a low ready position, which is more than likely what you're going to do in a house. In your home, you're probably not going to have a holster on. So we'll train like that. So we'll train with a gun in a low ready position. Fingers off the trigger, and we're going to do one shot and come back and do one shot. All right. All right, shooter, are you ready? Stand by. One, three, six. Now we're going right to left. Shooter, not one ready. Stand by. One, three, six, exactly. All right, two and two, left to right. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. Nice, 1.71. Two and two, right to left. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. One, six, eight, good time. All right, we are going three and three. We got enough rounds? Now we gotta change. Alright, left to right. Three and three. Shooter, not one ready. Stand by. Two, one, six. Right to left. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. Two, five, three. Five, five, left to right. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. Three, two, four. Right to left. Got the rounds. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. Three, point one, two. All right, here we go. This is the last one. We're going target, 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 target. Five times each target. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. Good. 7.50. Clean. All right. Clear, clear. I had one little miss there. That's all right. Two misses. But let's go look at the target real quick. You'll see it come on down. You know, th these are the swingers, and that's, uh, you got to stop. You got to stop on that position. But all this is pretty good combat accuracy. And, uh, you know, not bad times. I mean, I could certainly ramp up. This is uh, kind of fresh out of the office, not a lot of practice. Come on down here. Look at the same thing. I had one more uh, uh, swinger. Uh, again, everything's basically in here. These two are from that, uh, that last drill. So something you got to practice. And that's what this game is all about, is coming down here and, and, and challenging yourself to uh, shoot as fast as you can uh, with combat accuracy. And we'll total these up and we'll show you how we get a score. Okay, so we've got our score sheets now, our timers, and I've actually done a little bit of math beforehand so it doesn't uh, take up too much time. But, you know, bottom line is uh, we've uh, got our two targets. Uh, we shot a total of 54 shots, and uh, my total time for all those shots uh, is over here. It was 24 seconds, uh, 24.68 seconds. That's a total of 54 shots. And there's our strings right there, one, one, two, two, three, three, five, five, and then the uh, swing back and forth. Uh, of that, uh, I had two misses, two off the target. That was all no swingers again. You know, that's tough. You know, I, uh, uh, I hate to say it, but, uh, you know, try to speed up, and that's when you do miss. So you got to get out there and stop, and get out there and stop, and then, you know, try to ramp your speed up in between. But always make sure you stop. I uh, just swung a little too far. But not a bad score overall, if you look at uh, the math here. So when we go ahead and look at our targets, uh, I've got uh, basically uh, a total of 54 shots. Each target will be 27. Uh, each of these targets has 26 targets, uh, 26 shots on it. Uh, most of them are in the five zones, which is good. So if I look at target number one, I had uh, 20 uh, uh, shots in the, in the five zone times five points is 100. And I have three uh, points for anything outside of that. And I have six of those. So the total is um, 20 shots times 500 and six times eight, uh, excuse me, six times three is 18. So I've got 118 points for the target one. And on target two, uh, basically I've got uh, 22 shots in the five zone and uh, four shots out. And um, 
uh, one miss. And so the time there, as it told me the uh, score there uh, for that is 122. So total those together and I've got a total score of 240 out of a possible 270 points. So it's not bad. My time is 24.7. So the way we get our overall score then is we divide the number of points by your time and that will be 9.72. And this is the first uh, uh, time I've ever shot this particular drill. I just laid it out uh, last night. And so that's not bad. Usually uh, anywhere from uh, 9 to 10 to 11 is really good. Uh, beginner shooters are going to be down in the fours uh, and uh, maybe fives. You know, moderate guys are going to be right there six, seven, eights. So the nine's not bad. It's, it's, it's kind of a high level uh, uh, advance. You know, certainly some uh, guys are going to do twelves and thirteens, uh, and that's all a function of really speeding up. Uh, can you get your score down to twenty? And probably you can with some practice. And probably I could with some practice too. But like I said, this is my first time shooting this particular drill. I just put it together last night because I thought it'd be kind of fun for this uh, exercise to demonstrate those uh, laser targets because I was actually practicing swinging back and forth between uh, two targets with the laser targets. And I thought, hey, this is kind of fun. And I thought, well, yeah, let's go ahead and do that with live fire too. So I, I hope you see that you know, the laser practice and being able to uh, use those targets uh, as a fun tool to uh, get some trigger time because that's what it's all about. Uh, you know, it, you know, ammo's expensive, range time's expensive. Driving out to the range is, is a process. So, you know, it's really about getting trigger time and you can do it in your house with the laser dry fire system that will uh, then translate itself out to the range. And that's what I wanted to demonstrate here today. So, I'm Lenny McGill. I invite you to come down and shoot this course with us and see if you can beat my time and my score. I'm Lenny McGill, like I said, this is the Glock Store performance and custom shop in San Diego, California. Thanks for watching and hope to see you down here sometime soon.